there's a lot going on in the world of Python on hardware. Let's catch up on all yeah. that's happened the last week. We did, our, we did our show last week, but there's just a lot. There's so, so that every yeah. week. So uh, some Moo news. Uh, Moo is one of our favorite editors. And the Moo update for this week, uh, there's a few things. Yeah. I wanted to show yeah. and talk about all of it. Yes. Um, the first thing for Moo. They renamed yeah. Adafruit mode to Circuit Python mode, which is good. There's so many boards. There's so many boards, and they're not just Adafruit. And they were like, you're right. You should call it Circuit Python there, mode. There's so many boards now. They also added ESP MicroPython mode. So if you have an ESP32 yeah. or A266 running MicroPython, Moo might be the easiest way now to manage files and uh, upload code to your ESP running MicroPython. So that's exciting. Okay, and then this is neat. There's a new mode in it. You probably noticed from that other screen that um, we'll go back to it for a second. It uh, has web. Build simple websites with the Flask web framework. So if you know Flask, have you heard about it? Yep. You could do that. Famous for making it really easy to make websites yep. um, within Python. So for like many many sites, it kind of handles all the details for you unless you just get to the part you want to do, which is hosting data. Yeah. The web mode makes it simple and easy to create dynamic web applications using the Flash web framework. As the screenshot shows, Users are currently able to edit Python, HTML, and CSS files, run a local web server, and view their website in a browser. So you do some code like this, just a few lines, and then you get something like this. Yay! All right, so you want to go to madewith.mo. OK, um, or sorry, codewith.mo. Um, this is a really neat project. This is hacking calipers, and it's used for cancer research, and then it sends the measurements to a spreadsheet. Yep, so you don't have to enter them by hand. Yeah. It just shows up like a keyboard, um, and it's using CircuitPython to uh, get the data from the calipers and then um, type it out as an HID keyboard. And this is from Caitlin and Max. Max, um, who's, we've covered Max's stuff before. So he's at Stanford and Caitlin's at Stanford, so I think they teamed up for this project and uh, uses the um, like SAM32 board. Yeah. And it's Circuit Python, so that's really cool. Next up, uh, we showed this. This is uh, the Dragon video. This is a Circuit Python and Circuit Python using a mix of manual triggers and a manual protection. Yep, so this is we did it for the Halloween. Yeah. Uh, so we did it for the Halloween. So we uh, will see this soon in the running system. Yep. Or uh, just look outside. There was a poll that someone did on Twitter. They said, You're designing a new board and you want to make it compatible with third-party hardware, what is your form factor of choice? Comment if others, thanks for retweeting. So uh, Feather came in, number one, 51%, 168 votes, lots of good commentary and conversations in that thread, so you can check that out in our newsletter. We also have um, a couple good guides. Yep, this is from Davis Dells. This think. is pie paint. So this is a good guide if you're you know, first off, you can make a painting program, but also if you want to learn how to use Display I.O. with a touch screen and uh, draw to a bitmap. So you want to have like a, a raw bitmap display with up to eight colors in this case, and you want to draw on it as a canvas. So this is a good guide for showing how to do that. Yeah. Likewise, we also have a guide for the Turtle uh, graphics. We basically made a version of Turtle that's just like the Turtle that comes with Python, which is kind of logo-like language. Um, but ported it to CircuitPython. It doesn't cover everything that Turtle has, but it does cover a lot. And um, you can make beautiful graphics and uh, download your favorite Python Turtle or logo scripts and run them. Um, again, it's a good Display.io project showing how to uh, draw on a canvas. Uh, and this is a guide with showing the, the cursor project. So if you remember, we had the Choose Your Own Adventure for Pi Portal but that required a touch screen. Well, if you don't have a touch screen, but you want people to be able to select user interface elements. So in this case, we have the cursor library that can take the joystick or a D-pad from a Pi Game or Pi Portal, and then use the A or B button to basically allow you to, to draw a cursor around uh, and uh, select it. So the same for the, it's also used in the uh, Pi Painter. If you don't have a Pi Portal, if you have a Pi Gamer, you can paint um, using uh, the cursor instead. And uh, so this just shows you how you can um, drag and select. We also have a guide for Pi Badger. Uh, and if you saw on the show and tell, um, it's basically how to take your Pi Badge and make it into a smart badge for uh, going to events. You can display QR codes in your name. 
You can use any font you like, including Unicode, so you can have foreign language support. Uh, you can also show a photo of, of yourself or some other icon that, that represents you and your email address as a sort of a business card. So it's a good base for making smart, um, but uh, fun badges that you can hack at an event. Next up, CircuitPython snakes its way to the SparkFun Quick Keypad. There's a new CircuitPython library for the SparkFun Quick Keypad. It's now part of the CircuitPython community bundle on GitHub. Thank you, Gaston, uh, AKA Four Sticks. And in other SparkFun doing Python news, they now have um, Python libraries which are compatible with CircuitPython boards, Raspberry Pi boards, and other Linux boards. You can check those out on yeah. GitHub. And this is exciting for us because, you know, SparkFun was like the, the bigger, older brother um, all this time. And then to see them doing Python stuff, that's good for us because we're like, yay, more, more electronic companies doing Python, more people in the community doing Python, more hardware supporting Python, 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 Python. Well, if you look there in the photo, that's even a CircuitPython running board. Yeah. I think that's their um, turbo board yeah. um, that can run CircuitPython. And then it can plug into these quick connects, which is a cute system that does I squared C. So now, um, I think the idea you know, that we kind of came across like a year ago, everyone's catching on, which is like, oh my goodness, maybe let's just have the same Python code that can run on microcontrollers and on microcomputers be the same code. Wouldn't that be awesome? So we're not constantly supporting two different versions of every library. That's what we wanted to avoid and why we did Blinka. Um, so we could have our code with GPIO, I squared C, SPI, or UART run anywhere. Okay, in the beginning of the show, you probably saw uh, this video. So uh, this, what is this? This came in from Discord, and uh, community member said, "Hey, there's this uh, Agents of Shield that's on. I saw it on television or whatever streaming device. It's like a soap opera, and, but with superpowers. And there was uh, a circuit playground that powers one of the devices in there. So um, I did some quick, quick screenshots, and then I have a little bit of video, so you can see a circuit playground probably running Circuit Python." Um, inside of some device that needs to do something important. Yeah, probably okay. save the universe or destroy the universe. Next up, congratulations to Andreas, whose video made less than a year ago. Time to say goodbye to Arduino and go on to MicroPython. Adafruit CircuitPython has now become the number one video out of all of his videos uh, just last week. So that's kind of a big deal, um, not because people are comparing one to the other, but there's so much interest on Python on hardware that a site that was I'd say normally associated with lots of Arduino stuff. This shot up on the charts for Andres's channel. So check out the video. It has a lot of good um, things that are going on now. It's also seven months old, so a lot of things have changed. CircuitPython Day is 8-8-2019. We have a couple events and more coming up. There's uh, one on August 3rd. Brent's going to be doing a talk at NYC Resistor, CircuitPython. And there's also the CircuitPython Day at the Indi India Linux Users Group in Delhi at the Delhi Technical University for Women. That's on August 4th. We'll have more stuff going on and posts leading up to August 9th. Uh, right now, this second. Right now. Right now. At this very moment. At EuroPython. If you're at EuroPython. There are people helping each other running these badges. Uh, Deshipu is doing workshops. There's a few other people doing workshops. Um, you get one of these badges if you're at the event, and there's also the workshops. I like how the electronics are hidden underneath the, you, know, you don't yeah, see the chip, because cool. it's, all, it's all hidden. They're okay. cute. Um, there was some coverage from uh, Teardown. So CircuitPython, all the things, covered uh, Scott's workshop Game and, Boy uh, and presentation. So we posted up links to that and more. There is a, speaking of Hackaday, there's a Hackaday IO project that shows all these little add-ons that you can use with uh, badges. And this is the DEF CON 27 CircuitPython add-on, and um, you're able to use their standard connectors and then program it with uh, CircuitPython. This is neat. This is a uh, Featherwing Game Boy Advance cartridge. <laughs> yeah, this is an FPGA that lets you control a Game Boy from a Featherwing, I think. I'm a little confused, but it looks really cool. Yeah. Also, Coming up, uh, Pi Ohio is going to be here soon, and you can see Katni's keynote and more. So check out our site as well as the events section of our newsletter. This is Arturo's uh, keyboard Featherwing. There's many, 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 many prototypes. 
Yep, yeah. he's working on making the ultimate Circuit Python NR52840 okay. faux berry. And this is Circuit Python NRF52840 LCD display tutorial. Demonstrates how to use a character LCD and color TFT displays on the NRF52840 with Circuit Python. Yes, this is neat. He also shows how to load it onto that dongle from, NRF, uh, from Nordic. Okay. So these are really good videos. Check them out. Next up, um, Blitz City DIY has a sewing in NeoPixels, and you can see Circuit Playground with Circuit Python on there. And that is Python on Hardware News this week. Yay, Blinka. There's a lot. Blinka, 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 blinka. Okay.